everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet this reusable gift bag. As you can see it here in the photo, there's also more photos on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And I have my finished sample here to show you. This is the bag here. This is a great reusable gift bag. Uh, or uh, you may choose to make one some for yourself. They're quite roomy inside, making it a great bag uh, to pack your parcel in, your gift in, or also take to the grocery store. It's a fairly sturdy bag, quite strong in its construction, so it can hold a lot. It features a striped color on the front and on the back, and then a solid color on its side. Now for this project today, uh, I am using a 5mm crochet hook along with two different colors of this dishy worsted weight yarn, a cream color and a dark green color. Um, and uh, this yarn is by Knit Picks and We Crochet and I just want to take a moment to thank them for generously providing the yarn support today for this crochet pattern. If, uh, if you like it, I uh, uh, encourage you to give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section, especially if you've made this or have chosen to give it to someone as a gift bag. So you're going to need uh, two balls of this worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. Each ball has about um, 190 yards. So you're going to need two balls in each color okay as well as your five millimeter crochet hook also a copy free copy of the written pattern which is on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com now our bag pattern today is worked in five different pieces and uh, you're going to start by making the front and the back sides of your bag so you're going to uh, this next section you're going to work two of these uh, this is the striped front and back of your bag so you're going to start by taking your color A which is my swan or my cream color here and by making a slip knot. Once you've made your slip knot you're going to then chain 46 chains. There's 10 20, 30, 40, 46 and before I go any further I should just let you know the finished size of the bag is about 12 inches by 15 inches and it has a depth of 5 inches just so you have an idea of what we're working here so you're going to start by chaining 46 for row 1 you're then going to work a half double crochet into your second chain from your hook I like to work in the back bumps of my foundation chain because it gives me a nice finished side on the other. So half double crochet into that second chain from your hook and then work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to continue working half double crochet stitches by half double crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. Now when you come to your final stitch in this row, you are going to be switching to your color B and I will show you how I like to change color in my projects in just a moment.
at the end of row two, I've come to the end here. I have one final stitch to work. At this time, you want to switch to your color B. So to do that in a half double crochet, at the end of the row, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You can then drop the color A, pick up the color B and place it on your hook, yarn over and pull through. You then can just pull those a little bit tighter, chain one and turn your work. Now in this pattern, because you were going to be seaming these sides together, I did not worry about fastening off at the end of each row. I just carefully carry my yarn uh, up the side, which I will show you as I go. Now this little tail here, I am going to crochet over that so that I don't have to weave it in later. So you've chained one, we're going to continue working half double crochet stitches uh, into that first stitch. And now we're working in our color B and then into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, your row three, you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Continue working in your color B. You're going to half double crochet for row four into that first stitch and then half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the final stitch, you are going to switch back to your color A uh, into that final, in that final stitch. At the end of your row four, you've come to the uh, final stitch. We want to switch back to our color A. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop. Simply drop your color B and your color A is still attached down here. You're going to place it on your hook and pull through. Now you're going to want that thread to lie flush uh, with your fabric you don't want to pull it too tight or leave it too loose because we're going to be crocheting over top of it. So then you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working our stripe pattern. So you're working two rows in color A, two rows in color B, two rows in color A of half double crochet stitches uh, until we have reached 11 stripes of our color A and 10 stripes of our color B. So each stripe has two rows of half double crochet stitches and then you're just alternating back and forth between your color A and color B. You're going to end with a color A stripe. Okay, so work the front uh, and back pieces in this way. So you're going to repeat those steps, two rows, color A, two rows, color B, until you have 11 stripes of color A and 10 stripes of color B. You want to work both sides, front and back of your bag, and then you can fasten off, weave in your ends, set those two sides aside, and uh, we're gonna work on uh, the other panels in our bag. So once you've made your front and your back, those stripe panels, you've set those aside. We're now going to make our side panels. These are worked all in one color and you're going to make two of these again. So start by making your slip knot and then you're going to work a foundation chain of 21 chains. and 21. Once you have your 21 chains, the side of your bag is quite simple. You're going to half double crochet into the second chain from your hook 
and then into each chain all the way across. So again, we're just working in our color A and we're continuing our half double crochet stitches. I'm just going to continue working across here. I love the half double crochet. It's one of my favorite stitches to work. So once you come to your final stitch of row one, you can chain one and turn your work. Now for another 41 rows, you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So you'll want to have a total of 42 rows of half double crochet stitches in each of your panels and this is going to bring it to the same height as that front and back panel that you just worked. So go ahead work 42 total of 42 rows of half double crochet stitches uh, for your two side panels so you want to make two of these then you can set those aside meet me back here and we're going to make the bottom of our bag. Okay, so we've now worked the front and the back of our bag. We've worked our two sides. We're now going to work our bottom and you're only going to need one of these pieces. So to start with your color A, make a slip knot and you're going to start by working a foundation chain of 46 chains. There's 10, twenty, thirty, forty. And 46. Once you have your 46 chains worked, we're going to work half double crochet stitches again. So begin with a half double crochet into that second chain from your hook, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, chain one and turn your work. At the end of your row one of the bag bottom, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for uh, rows two through to 15, so you'll have a total of 15 rows, you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across, chain one, turn your work and continue. So for your bag bottom, you want to work a total of 15 rows of half double crochet stitches. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and you're all set then to join your bag pieces together. And uh, then we're going to work the top and our handles. So go ahead, finish up those pieces, and uh, then meet me back here, and we will join it all together. Once you have worked your five pieces, so I have here my two side pieces, my bottom piece, as well as my front and back panels, you're then going to be ready to crochet them together. Now to crochet them together, I 
you can uh, work it in a variety of ways. I liked to crochet my sides together first, or the front to the sides, sorry, first before working around the tops and the bottoms. So what you're going to do is take one of uh, your either front or back panel, uh, set aside your bottom, and then one of your side panels, and there's no real front or back uh, um, to these pieces, so it doesn't matter too much. What you will want to try to do is just to make sure that your pieces are all um, facing the right direction, so, either, so all the stitches are going in the same direction. What you're then going to do is holding the two sides together, we're going to work a row of single crochet stitches all the way along the side. Now there's no pretty places to put, insert your hook so you're going to just want to make sure that you're keeping it flush together. If it helps to pin it together then you can do that as well. Your single crochet that you're using to sew it together uh, needs to be on the outside of your bag. So you're going to start by joining with a slip stitch, you're going to work through both thicknesses and then just simply insert your hook where it is comfortable and work a single crochet seam up the side. You're going to want to make sure that you're working over top of any tails or any places where you had the yarn coming up alongside, uh, especially when you're working that stripe panel. Uh, but again, just continue to crochet up the side uh, of your bag. Once you have completed this side, you're going to continue to join the sides of the front uh, and uh, other sides of your bag in the same way. And then you're also going to do the same for the bottom piece. So once you have your four sides together, You'll take your bottom piece, work single crochet stitches all along the bottom just like so until all of the edges and sides of your bag are joined. You're going to leave that top edge so no need to touch the top yet and I'll show you what we're going to do uh, when we come to that point. So just go ahead single crochet each of your sides um, and your bottom together and then meet me back here to work the top of your bag. Once you have finished working your bag sides and the bottom, so you've worked a single crochet stitch uh, around each, uh, along each of the edges and then around the bottom uh, just to join all your sides together. Once you've done that, you can fasten off, weave in any of your ends uh, and you're going to start the top of your bag. For the top of the bag, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top corner of your bag. Chain one and then work a half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. So you're going to work your half double crochet stitches along the top of your bag then along the side, then along the opposite side, and then the shorter edge all the way around until you come back to your first stitch. Uh, when you come back to your first stitch, you will join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you've come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. We're now going to begin working the bag handles. To do so, begin by chaining one. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches, beginning with the same stitch that you joined in. So there's one, three, four, Five, 
There's 10, 11, and 12. Once you've worked 12 half double crochet stitches, you can then chain 21. Once you've chained 21 back on the top of your bag, you're going to skip the next 21 stitches. Then into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. And then 11 more half double crochets, which will bring you uh, across the front of your bag. You'll be then at the side of your bag. You're going to work your 20 half double crochet stitches along the side of your bag. When you come uh, along to uh, either like the front or the back of the bag, your striped pattern here, you're going to work uh, very much the same as what you did on the other side. I'll just get around here to it. And then when you come to the other side, or to the front, your striped panel, you're then going to work 12 half double crochets, just as you did before. Chain 21, skip the next 21 stitches, and then work 12 half double crochet stitches. I've work my 12, chain 21, skip 21. You're then going to half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. That will bring you along to the final side of your bag. You're then going to work your 20 half double crochet stitches along the side of your bag and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. At the end of your round two for the handles, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You're now going to work a half double crochet into each of the first 12 stitches. When you come to your chain 21, you're then going to work a 21 
half double crochet stitches all into that space. So there's no need to work into the stitches, you're just simply working around that chain and you want to work a total of 21 half double crochet stitches. You're then going to come across, work a half double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around to your next 21 chain, work 21 half double crochet stitches into that chain space and then work half double crochets in each stitch all the way across to the other side and join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round three of your bag candles, you've joined with a slip stitch, you can chain one. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around and then when you come back to your first stitch you can join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At that time then your uh, reusable gift bag is complete. You can weave in any ends and your bag is ready for gifting and uh, enjoying. So thank you so much for joining me on this uh, tutorial on how to make this reusable gift bag. And uh, if you happen to make one, I would love to see it. You can tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media so that I can admire it. And uh, I do hope that you'll come back again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.